Yes, Clara. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, some issues with you. Bi misi rajam belafla niyo kudol del kachajam. The first would be your biographical information. We need to know who you are. Olo mba furola men na wola ita fan kuni wola kibaroti belafla le kalong itelam jumati. We would also uh, talk about some incidents. The first would be uh, the arrest, detention, and torture of several uh, PPP supporters who were arrested at around the American Embassy in 1995-96. Follow ba follow la mena wala mutaro la menke ta mol la mian ko kanun tellem PPP kanun tellem ye muda ye sindit la kini ye tajire ya sango la mengu kafme babu kongo 1995. 1995 96. 1995 96 sango la mabong. And then the arrest. Of Omar Jata, and we will have another one. We will have another one. Men keda Omar Jata la, and his torture. Anala tajireya men la ta kang. Omar Jata was arrested for attending a naming ceremony in Bakote. Omar Jata, Omar Jata ya muda men na wala mintu ko atata ma be kuliyo dola me alongo aketa nun Bakote. And uh, it was believed that uh, he and other PPP supporters close to uh, Honorable Omar uh, Jalo OJ were meeting there to plan something. Then uh, the Farafenye attack, that's uh, 98. And uh, the uh, and uh, the capture, torture, and torture of Balo Kante, Omar Juf, Damfa, and uh, Drame. And Mudarola Menar Nake Woto, Walam Farafanya Buinkan Nalti, Narina Mudaroke, Balo Kante, Omar Juf, Damfa, and in Drame, Kondongi. I'll get the full name later. Uh, you were also <coughs> incriminated in the torture of Ibrahim Abaro. And you had to be to Mirola to come to Ida Bulata to Jireal and make it to Ibrahim Abaro. And that I believe is in connection with the alleged coup d'état involving the Mossad and others. Do you want to get a wall of Besujiri Nimmen and Wallem going to come here and go to Mossad to for that one? Uh, we would also want you to talk about the human rights violations uh, that you know about that happened at the NIA or in the hands of NIA officials. And we have a lot of people who are in the NIA and we have a lot of people who are in the NIA and we have a lot of people who are in the NIA. Or in the hands of NIA officers. We have a lot of people who are in the NIA and we have a lot of people. Uh, and on this particular one, we do not have you adversely mentioned, but we would want you to assist the commission and provide information that you have. And you understand? Yes. Ah. Would you kindly draw the microphone closer to you so that you don't have to be moving up and down when you answer questions? Feel free, be Thank comfortable. Uh, just you. set it up in a way that would be most convenient yeah. for you. Well, I think it's okay this way. All right. Oh. Thank you very much. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, kindly tell us your full names, please. Um, my name is Salmina Drame. I was born in Jarakade um, Kunda in 1958. And I went to Pakalindi Primary School. And I went to Pakalindi Primary School. In 1966. Yeah, but at the time I was almost over age. That was normal. Yeah. 
So um, from my primary one, two, three, I was taken to uh, primary five. Abona primary one two three yeah. in at in sound can some primary five uh, to attempt um, an examination called uh, uh, common entrance. Purun in Kamala and see Lundi Kotoboke, a mayor and common Lundi Lundi Contibility, I can for me a common entrance. Yeah, but exam. Unfor unfortunately, I, I didn't pass. I the, the, the pass mark was 200 and 60 at the time. And, uh, I had 258, just two marks. Then in 1972, I repeated uh, the common entrance again. And in 1972, I common entrance I passed my exams. Um, I was supposed to go to St. Augustine's High School. When I was called for an interview, um, that was um, Father Clary when he was there at the time. But then um, he was skeptical about my age because of my height. And they gave me a letter for Dentist Carol at the RBH. Then after a test, my results were enveloped. And I took uh, the envelope to him. After opening it, um, he said, you are over-age. Above 13 years of age, you cannot have an entry here. That is the time I returned home. Um, my uncle was uh, the minister of local government at the time. Honorable uh, Al Haji Ayasisi. Honorable Al Haji Ayasisi. Then uh, he travelled at that time. But he was at a time at a But his permanent pa parliamentary secretary at the time. But what time was the parliamentary secretary? Was one Mr. Kwet Chang. Kafu me Mr. Kwet Chang. Then I went to Mr. Chang, Honorable Chang. That Honorable Chang, yeah. Uh, he gave me a letter for Amitai High School. I later wrote in the Purunata Amitai Karambumbato. And I went to Amitai High School. That Amitai Karambumbato. Uh, um, Mr. And, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Um, Freddie Blaine. Mr. Blaine was there at the time as mm -hmm. principal. But when Mr. Blaine was in Suti at the But when I explained myself to him, Bring him from why? He said, well, I am, I am, I am just winding up because um, a white man is coming here, Mr. Hedul. Bring your fire, come here. Instead, we pray can the pruka bojang to babu le bina jantala ikafu me, Mr. Hedul. But you can stay around. Very easy to jang follow. I can give you chance to go to classes. Si silo di la pray ta class ulto. Till Mr. Hedul comes, then you fi he will finalize things with you. Ni Mr. Hedul na tabutu atenite si kulu kumbang. So I, I, I have my. Uh, People at uh, Amitai there. No uh, Those are from uh, home. So you know this uh, Amitai school, the dormitories are single, single beds. Amitai school, karam karam be jiarin dormitory la dormitory ulukolo mo keli lara The two of them had to talk their beds. So I was sleeping with them. So no mulle kala lara sonda skunda. Kafadin kira me sonda skunda. Remember Tamba Sanyang was the alcalo of Sondas. Hakilo ba kan Tamba Sanyang atelo mu alcalo tin sonda skunda. Yeah, barely I was going to classes. Bita kan class ulto. But barely after three months, Mr. Hedul came. Bare karisa ba kwa labrin Mr. Hedul nata. Well, I went to his office, and uh, the matter was explained to him. 
and uh, he said, well, the classes, I don't want to um, overcrowd the classes, classes so I think, uh, Mr. Dami, I'm sorry I cannot admit you. Kwa mwana fi classroom wale fa kala na tambi. Ana rafu ni bari bitu isi haki tu nte talo la jang. So I returned. Muruda. How uh, old were you at the time? Let's say you were seven years old. Well, at the time, according to the dentist report, I was 17 years four months. Kwa dentist karun la kibaru wa ya chini ni mimi. Mwana sengi tang ani wola ani karna ni. I'm above the entry age by four four years. Bitu wa yatala nitambita dun sangola sangi nani? Yeah, so I I I went to Masakongo Junior Secondary School. Dada Masakongo Junior Secondary Kramu moto. For a period of time. Wati kaje? But I I feel that uh, that the school is just newly built and uh, there is no much learning. I had to come to Banjul to travel and. Uh, Secondary school. Karibu watu mumanza kongo ngaje kwa karibu mkuu tolo ya lo kutake duro karibu mumansi yaji. Wadali wale ya sabu mbote na njia na na ta karibu ya. I was in karibu land school. Be karibu land karibu tolo. Later the 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 school was upgraded. Na ta karibu ina makamu la fa. The senior secondary school. Yake senior secondary karibu. When kama wula baji was there as principal. Watu mo kama wula baji le bije karibu ndo suti yala. So that's why I completed my. School career. And then uh, it's the same year, 1977. In September, I remember. September, I was September, I remember. September, I was employed by the I was employed by the Department of Water Resources. Department of Water Resources. Before that, I, yeah, before that, I was um, temporarily working with the uh, Soviet Department, Ganybaji, uh, at the uh, Soviet Department of Public Works. Watu mo jani mo lo kuta wati soto na lo ke Soviet Department dinkira lo kumbunda mna kadinkira lo sumang ni mo bije watu mo kafa engani baji. I was a chairman at the time. Watu mo yote mo chairman leti wale mleno kani sumang dirla mo muda kadula lo sumang. The Soviet become a college. Intele become a college la dinkira jube after completion. Hano for na bang. That is the time I joined. The water resources department. What we all them between that and the manager of the Kubula water resources. When Malik John was there as director. What we all Malik John the budget at the director. You have worked in several places. In 1992. 1989. You resigned from Met, right? Yes. I do not hear. Met. Hydromet. And then you joined the NSS. Inarana ida kafu NSS do gola. Yes. Can you take it from there? We have to gain time though. We have to make it quick. Ata abo wato fancy wato domanding. Yeah, eighty nine, eighty nine. I joined the NSS when I was the station hydromet station officer in Kuntaru Wasu. You joined the NSS sawola nineteen eighty nine. Karibu tu mwendelo mkuntaru la hydromet do kubunda la nyato mkoote. So when I had this um, announcement of um, vacancies, Office of the President, May I look at the President of the Office of the President? Okay. Uh, at this time, you had already secured yeah. uh, a Class 4 certificate in metrology. In terms of a diploma in metrology. Yeah, which, so is, which, is, which is equivalent to a diploma. May I look at the diploma in metrology? Yes, and I also specialize in aviation meteorology. And we have a lot of meteorology in Kenya. Because I worked with the control tower for almost 13 years. But we control tower do work. We have been there for so many years. We have been in the international airport. We have been in the international airport. Yeah. Let's proceed. And in 1989, you joined the NIA. 1989 in NIA. 1990. NSS, I mean. NSS. I was posted to Joytown as liaison officer, office of the president. 
ntata otumo le yen samba janjambre wala joy town ndela kata moti me along ka tolom kulu chokilati eh, president la office la karoda then in 1991 i was uh, redeployed back to headquarters to 1991 ye murundi nam kan sendi nam korda bato and then uh, 92 i was posted or attached to the plain clothes unit as a personal bodyguard to the president of the republic to eh in atan samba palace momento yembula muni kono melu buka uniform do but in tell the muni to many along kon tell the president of kanta but before that i was sent for a course ari janningo dati in ki purata lomni karawla that is a vip training course o mo vip training karawla o mo vip lomni karawla te and then later attached to the president ju ko kola lom ina tanna do ko sawde pour nga ke president wala kantar laati proceed please and then yeah um i was with the president until uh, 1994 me president wala bara fo 1994 sa wakono uh, until uh, on the 22nd of july and fo july ka rotil mo hande fulo um when this uh, on to tr- sorry 20 uh, yes 22nd when the when the when the coup d'etat you know took place and for uh, July carot in one in flow 1994 what more than coup d'etat in Kenya so uh, i was at home this work on the president arrived uh, at the airport i was there president nata kabonan tamadula kunti laji dula to en bije bra fata tanan we received him na abentu i was one of those i was one of those after the president ntebe mo le re di guard of honor ntebe mo le ko no melu be president wo balak anoka bring abo bunya lokala so jaw me do ku lali but um, before that mari jalni wo be kala you know it's, it was an open secret to everybody that uh, uh, there is a plan coup ni keto kulo wa nyaari moti kulo wa nyaari moti no be la karola ko fero le city da koibe ala mansa kunda bo ndi lale and i so left nant ya yeah, jami on the ground at the time at the time na ya pu left nant ya ya jamme je kulunti la ji dula to je tero to je really we were all prepared for him tembo ya tara ala ya ke mbebe parering akamma but did you know it was going to be him ari yalla no ko atla be kala ko kum nyaaton ko di ba fatalam let council i think this rumor has been going on more than a month when sadawda was on leave in uk and uh, this intelligence report was transmitted to him and then he said he is coming back e namira lead council ni moila moy kumo a janjanta le han fo ay karosi par bi to wato ni na president sa dawda be li fo la united kingdom banko kan yo adu yo kibaro fo ate fawo yenne ba briya a faaye ay ni fo ko ha nde be sey la nanne the question is not that there was a rumor or not the question is whether you were prepared for Yaya Jami with the full knowledge that it was going to be him yeah, who was yeah. going to take over yeah ngaro man ngi ndi ko fo yallo ne ba fo mun mun no nyimo be yallo no ngi ngaro men do lani fo ite yallo ne pare den fo yallo ne were you prepared for the soldiers or you were prepared for Yaya Jami ne pare den so jaro le ba fo be pare den Yaya Jami le we were preparing for those planners the preta be pare kan no molle men yo fero city at this stage you did did you or did you not know who was going to be the leader wo fukabula o tembo la fo iyala na mamba da fo imalo mba njuma la be nyan na kelanu nyaaro ngoti no i didn't know actually na ani malo nde o tembo fo to could you proceed please and then what yeah so after receiving the president bring the president of benton ka ji afaka pare he left for the state house about the entire state house nothing happened on the ground at the time I there we could not manka kulun ti laji dula to jede but we are still on the standby but halim bi be tembo men to wonen be pare rinde 
So after the president was housed at the state house, we went the state house. Some of us went home. The lonely state as well. And then some plain clothes officers were left on the ground. We took no more than two days. Many along with local uniform being buried in the local land that we left to take with some of our physical guards. And then we took another load of the uniform and we took the balance to another load to take away. In the morning, so many da. The presidential guards. We have a coaster. President, we took another load of motor luggage. We took our camera. We took our camera. Those living in the Greater Banjul area. Many along with the Banjul in Kumbu Dalolela. The coaster picks them to walk. We motor carry them on a kaita, a kling kling, a kabula motor kono ke na tido kuala. So while I was waiting for that coaster, what we were doing was pulling our motor back. The compound I was renting in. We were also la korda men kono. The former mayor of KMC, Honorable Keba Jalo. In the Lekata mayor of KMC, Kafai Wutumo, Honorable Keba Jalo. The sister came to my house. Abari Muso Nata Nobunoto. And said to me in Mandinka. Akunye Mandinka Kautoko. Ibele President, Ibele President Kudeta Leite Belarinja. But he said to me in Mandinka, they are going to topple your president and we are lying down here. I was just lying on my city waiting for the vehicle because when they come by the gate, you know, they, they will hoot and I come out. Melari na siyang karajang na kaunde barukang karo tumo nimuto na ta favorite tan na korda adato ikabilo le kumandi ni ibilo kumandi lonte ka fintu le fe. So when she delivered that message to me, gayo kibaru funye. It was on a Friday. Abente juwa lu le fe. I have this sinis allergy. Na nanyi mbende kai jamo le duu watu mo alaji simuso hatu undress. Na urang. I took my jean. Na na jeano duu. And a shirt. Na adun anindundi ko. Was having my personal weapon. Na fansu jora mo bendu watu mo kido. That is a map pistol. Map pistol kidindu. Yeah, with eight rounds. Ani kese sai. So I just went out. Tumo le mfindi ta. I was jogging. Mbe bori sumaya ringola to the market, sera kunda market. Kata sera kunda marche auto. You know the 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 area was so you know people were running for their lives. Mbe bori kangu huko ni ukana ni watu mo. They said kudeta kudeta. Mbe ba foka kudeta le kiri kudeta. So then I I just still continue to jog. We continue to go bori goma ndi wala wina. To Westfield. Ata hani fo Westfield. There then I found one of my assistants. Jelo mu mu kilinta raje mini alonko wale fana lube do kwa la menu bente kang. He is called Ibrahim Adrami. I think he testified here. Kafai Ibrahim Adrami. Nga mera fana ye se de aru kijani. I told Bri Ibrahim I must get to Banjul. Kwa Ibrahim I mien tafuta lele Banjul. He said okay. Let's go. Abetu ata ngata. So we are jogging. It will be a very demanding one, lah. Up to Jim Pex Johnson, the main Johnson. We will find that Jim Pex la was sila kumbembato. By the time we arrive at the Johnson, what we will find that was sila foto toje. Basadi Jawara son called Ismail Jawara. Basadi Jawara dima ikafume Ismail Jawara. He was driving a BMW at the time. Utumu BMW moto ba bula be member. I begged him a lift. I said, take me to Banjul. I must go to Banjul. He said, no, the soldiers are coming, the soldiers are coming. He said, please, take me to Banjul. He agreed. I entered, Ibrahima also entered. While we were driving, um, around Kamalo area, Kamalo area, they are so-called ambush. We found soldiers, many of them there. Almost about uh, 10 to 15 meters away from them. They all shouted and said, stop, stop. So Ismaila was scared. He said, I told you this, Salmina. 
So I said, okay, stop, uh, let me come down. And he stopped. I, I went down. Ibrahim also came down. But while I was coming down, the soldiers say, I must not come down. Let me go back. I said, no. I will come down. Whatever may happen, let it happen. So, but, uh, Ismail turned. Ismail uh, I, 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 he left us there with Ibrahim. They started cocking their weapons. I said fire. I, I told them to fire. Ibrahim hold my back. Ibrahim pulling it and said, don't kill yourself, please. Let's go, let's go back. I said, let them fire. I know nothing can happen there. Why? You see, I was prepared for them. You had the amulet. <laughs> Within that 18 yard box. What? Within the 18 yard box. Meter tell me say meter yard tell me say miya kono. No weapon will fire. But, what if it fires out of the 18 yards box? Well, anything can happen. Then you can die. die. Yeah. But I is it fun? Okay. Let's, let's move on. Yeah. Uh, this is there, Africa. There are lots of possibilities. From there, we went back. Muruta. By the time we arrived at uh, Sting Corner, we were at Sting Corner, so they let you proceed. Yeah, they let me, uh, Ibrahim said, insisted that I, we must go back. Salmina, don't kill yourself. We must go back. So Ibrahim. I said, okay, let's go. Ibrahim said, balanta ko Salmina, kano samfa la muru, la muru, la muru. Do something that muru. I didn't proceed because of Ibrahim appealing. Let's go back. Let's go back. Don't kill yourself. So I said, I went back. Did the soldiers know that you were armed? I didn't pull my arm up because it was there. It was at my back here. So when we arrived at Sting Corner, at Sting Corner, Edward Sinatra was coming from Mile Seventh Road. Um, I remember it's a 605 piso, 605, he was driving a 605 piso, I think. Yeah, he was sitting at the back, they were driving him. Yeah, he fired, uh, he made an open fire twice. And said, go home. So he passed. To Banjo. How do you know it was Edward Singer? I, I, I know Edward. You have to allow for the interpretation. Proceed, please. So he passed. And we also continued to Radio Gambia. Few meters before Radio Gambia. On the whole, that coaster takes the plain clothes and the other soldiers to State House. Yara wa Costa menka sojarulu anin mendo buka uniform do menka samba state house was seized by Samsidin Sar and his men. Yara wa moto Samsidin Sar na la mule moto ni dia kuya muda. What day are you talking about? Lo njuma la fuko kanteng. The very day of the coup. Are you suggesting that Samsidin Sar participated in the coup? Yeah, I was told he, he led the team to Radio Gambia because I didn't enter. I took a back way. Back way. Come you know, on. Captain Dur was living somewhere around Radio Gambia. Captain Dur at the Sirin Bulaleto Radio Gambia Balaji. When I saw him, I went to Captain's house. 
that a captain of Boto with Ibrahim. Nil Ibrahim. We found a Pachak there. Na Pachak Tarajele. Dr. Njai. Dr. Njai. And that's um, uh, uh, Sirif Mbai. Nil Sirif Mbai. Yeah. Huh? So I just spent a little time because they were also wondering. Now what I'm doing, Nikiji, Karu, Rumu, Rumu, Funan, Be, Mira, Kang, who are these people? Jumalo, Niyol, Lemuniliti. Even um, uh, Dr. Jai tried to call the CEO in Jundon. Karu, Hani, Dr. Jai, Aya, Katale, Puruka, CEO, Kumandi, Member, Yundon, but he couldn't go through. Ala, Kumandi, Mante, Mantan, who was who was the CEO at that time? Jumalo, Mumu, CEO, Diwa, Wat, Ola, Jai. That is the officer commanding in Yundon barracks at the time. Well, we were trying to get him. Rumu wale mu officer commanding ti mwenye yuni mbarak sabo le abaka taka mpuru kwa wale kumandi. I I I was not I was not comfortable I was not comfortable in that place so I told Ibrahim let's go. Jim bila mengine dal akitani fedi nchini alti mwenye alonko left at the wall na Jim mau ni umanten akilo umanten kunje mko Ibrahim ingata. Then we proceeded to DG Director General our Director General's resident in Kanifi. Juu tume ni intendenta na director general be swa mungu lo kani fun ndaraje to see what was happening there. Puru salum mno be keri wote falang. Who was he? Jumala wote nuko. Kwa basi sisi at the time. Kwa basi sisi wote nuko. What time did you arrive there? Wati jumala ni mfuraji ndaraje. Monto la wati jumala. Kwa basi house you mean? Uh huh. No, I I don't I don't remember the time, but it could be around twelve or after twelve to one. Asikeno kabotalang tano mfula kata talang kini kang hakilo mama tadi wara asikeno watu maafungu la ling. So we were there, ndege, wondering. Ndel finalu nde mira kang jakanta. That's where I stayed. Darsa wole to? Um, I think Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Na arjumu ni sibitu ni dimaso beke wole to. My family even didn't know where I was. Na dimba ya lufau luma longo tu wote bedame. It was Sunday evening when I went to the house. Na silumuwa role mumbata je katanda buloto. Because it was announced that people should report to work on Monday. Katu yule kamkula kuhu moja sita ndo kula tenen lugo. Do you recall who made the announcement? Yake lo ba kana juma le kamkula roa kwa kuhu moja sita ndo kula tenen. Well, the the Supreme Council. Ila Council ni yato kuhu Supreme Council wale o kamkula roa kwa. Yeah. So when I went to office. Ring that office. On arrival. I was arrested. Yeah, murder. I don't know for what. Malo mula na yeah murder dem. So who arrested you? You mala yeah murder. Well, these are these are soldiers. You must say your old lady. Junior soldiers. Din din malo. These are junior officers, yes. Ah, you must din soldier din din malo lady. These are junior officers. Ah, soldier will mula pala so be do mala. I was at the detention. Yeah, but I am saying the rule actually. Nearly a week, I think. I mean, I no could fancy the boy of Dinkra. Where were you detained? Yes, in the middle. The NIA there. NIA. See, when Sambaba was appointed, Rio Sambaba Tombo as Director General of the NIA. Because Director General of the NIA, so they reported to him that we have some people at detention here. Yeah, who were against this revolution. So, I remember Samba called me in his office on it was on a Thursday, I believe. It was on it? I think it's on a Thursday, I believe, yeah. When I went upstairs. Yeah, I remember Samba called me in his office on a he was coming in and then going to his office. He called for me. Abina kana utu mo kadun nang abita kana la office utu mo le utu mo nanga ente kumandi. We went together upstairs. Na tatani yule le kasele santo. By the time the oddly was opening this office door, watu ala oddly wale ma la kanta la alti ba la bunda yele kang. So he tapped my back here. And kong kong sanyoto and. Told me in Mandenka. I knew from you, Mandenka. Come to Serif Musole. Where is your wife from the Serif clan? So I said, is at home. 
Nkaya besuoko no. And he laughed. Ajeleta. So we went in. Ndunta koloto. And told me in Mandinka. Ayumi mfano mfanyo wa nika kamoto ko. Yalo, ite msulu utuwa lebela. You know you have the name of a hyena. So, I think I have to get you out of this vicinity area. I was sent to Basse, I believe. As an officer commanding, you are UR. I had five officers under me. Do you remember them? Yes, uh, most of them were killed by the police. Two of them were killed by the police. I think Ibrahim Makinte. Ibrahim Makinte. Um, Sambujang. 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 There are about five of them anyway. No, no, no. Sambujang. Sambujang. Two of them. Sawaya mo sawaya wala tayo fale. But um, I don't I don't remember these other guys' names. When you have a fantastic memory, you are mm. able to remember incredible details, even conversations on July 22, 1994. Mm. Proceed, please. Okay. Yeah. So I was there mm. with the military commissioner, Captain Balde. Um, we started our conductor tour of the of sensitization tour of the division. Starting from where? I remember we started from up, that is Fatoto area. Yeah, with the chief of Kantel Kunda at the time, Modu Sanyan. Modu Sanyan will say for the Kantel Kunda and Natalia yeah. follow. Yeah, we call him Ojuku. Gafate yeah. and Ojuku. He is late now. Bandale Sanyan. Yeah. So, just to tell him that. Look at Fayanko. Just to tell him that. Look at Fayanko. The military has taken over. And these are soldiers with a difference. You clearly remember that term being used during those days, correct? Pardon? I say you clearly remember that, that phrase being used so those days, soldiers with a difference. So that's how we told the whole, the same message. That's how we told the division. When we finished, the former public works department in Basse there, that's where the military barracks is now. The place was leased during Sadaud's regime. The place was leased, the place was leased to one Sarahuleman. Uh, one Mr. Sumundo in Sabi. Mr. Sumundo in Sabi. So the commissioner gave me an instruction that uh, his, uh, he has an instruction that uh, he should clear his uh, belongings from that premises. They will want to open a uh, military barracks there. So I went to Mr. Sumundo. That Mr. Sumbunduya. I told him the message. Nakibaro yumfai. He complied. So nta. So he cleared his things there. Ala fumu lube bundi je. But before the military comes. Bare soldier campu lube bundi je. I was given the authority also. Ni falang symbol dinna. As an issuing authority of passports. O nsi ni ndo kuota me alangole ka passport oludi. Uh, because that was a strategy 
to win the confidence of the Sarahula community. For how long yes. do you serve in, in Basse? I think four months. Four months. About, about because I was, I was reported. And then they transfer me under 24 hours. Reported forward. That I'm, that I'm, 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 I'm still supporting the PPP. Because uh, a newspaper was brought from Banjul. One of my staff had this newspaper in the midst of civilians civilian reading it bulleting i found him there i told him you are you should be neutral These are civilians next time don't do this that doesn't go well with him. I was reported. I they, they, they said they called Tatin Baji. So this was what happened. Yes, Tatin Baji was called. This message was given to the Juntas. They told Sambaba to transfer me on the 24 hours. Because um, really, the Basse people um, never wanted me to go. There is one village called uh, Sare Sofi. I remember the day I was leaving Basse, Banjul. The whole village went on the highway, stopped my truck. That I should not go. I said, no. You are that popular. In, in yeah, because, Sarah Sophie. Because, of, Sarah because Sophie. Of, I was the issuing, issuing authority of passport. Can't passport I don't reject. After interview with are you serious? You don't reject? I have, I have you think you are doing your job? I or? have a committee. Committee the chief. And then this uh, chief, other chief in Kantel Kunda, these are my committee members. After the interview, I approve. When they are satisfied, I approve. That's how we were doing We have an immigration officer attached to us. Na immigration officer suto memu do kulati memu do balaji. One Mr. Mbuk called, he was one time the director general, Mr. Mbuk. Hakilo Baka, Mr. Mbuk, to an elected director general. Yeah, at one time he was, a, at, the, at the, that time he was a couple. But we tembo at a couple of He was working with me. And you tell about Yeah. That's good. So you returned to the NIA headquarters. Now, now, now. Yeah. NIA na Kordabar, Karisa Babicho, you remain there. I was there because still the Juntas want to be recognized. I was attached to another tax force. To Nathan Samba can knock in the Doku Kafudo for Nambala Yen Sassidam to go to Radio Gambia. Look at Radio Gambia. Um, to talk about the Senegambian history. I remember a very well-known griot called uh, Pasit Kamara in Banjul. And uh, Lalo Samate of Radio Gambia. Uh, Lalo Samate of Radio Gambia. We are the three. We are the four uh, in that tax force. What are you doing in the midst of those griots? This is an idea conceived by the juntas and they told uh, Sambaba and then Sambaba selected me.
iten sojari yato nko lini mfiro parandi ya fusamba bae samba bafa na yente tombo what was to be your role in that ite nina ita albo kwenye nakala muna ti wosio nyinkono je well i i just guide them because they know the history better ite ke ya marle do tala nyame nkatu ite le tariko ni long you guided them to tell the history of senegambia ite ke ite ke ite ite ke puruka senegambia la tariko nyinka usara interesting proceed so uh, we were in that committee no uh, committee until um, i think the first president who visited uh, uh, the revolution was abdujuf president flomen nata kumboro la revolution la time jangami la president abdujuf lem i never could have remembered that the hakino to murano la is interesting proceed and i say i never could have remembered that the first president to have visited was abdul juf yeah ah it was abdul juf abdul juf lem he recognized them first in africa here in west africa here no fulu la dilu juf was to visit here a telephone ye cross a telephone so tema adu a telephone na ta kumba boro la jang proceed and then from that visit la kumba boro ko la Yeah, the relationship was um, growing from strength to strength. It was not only Senegal that took him on. He didn't say Senegal. He said the relationship. It was about taking him on. The relationship with Senegal. Yeah. Well, I mean, he let took him on. The damn that Qatar sent to Kairua. Yeah. You see. Yeah. So, um, from that committee, the board committee also, I return to. Office, no the office. I think I was working with Mr. Marena. Now we are to know Mr. Marena. Mr. Marena, Mr. Marena, Mr. Marena, Juma. Mr. Marena. Did you also participate in negotiations between MFDC and Senegal? Yeah, when I did that, that Kachandro told from me along with that MFDC rebel or anything Senegal team over. Yes, I served in many tax forces. Ah, nado ko ke kafutumbu ndi njamal le kono. When I was first secretary to the ambassador. Ye gwato so ndo gwato we ndelo first secretary to ambassador la Karola and I was doubling as a security commander of the sub region. Ndo ko mo ndelefana mo kanto ni tankada bunda nyato ko te pour tumbe ni na Karola. Because I was accredited to Um, almost five countries. Ndo ko mo ye nono dula dunya di banku lulu belela. Uh, Mauritania, Mauritania, Morocco, Morocco, Tunisia, Tunisia, Algeria, Algeria. Uh, when when were you deployed as first secretary? What did you mean by yes number pure ke secretary followed it? In 1996. Okay. Yeah, you know the Farafin attack came mm -hmm. three Farafin. days to my travel to take over my place. Farafiyo bain kandiro akita tumu na wajatu ra ati ra abesa ra tulisa badro pumna chana palaso nyinta. I was posted to Guinea Bissau as a consular first. Pulo pulo ye na palaso sa undi Guinea Bissau le pumna chana du kwa la je consular me ya long kwa la be chana du kwa la banko tuya la je. Three days before my travel to Bissau, tulisa badja nyinta nyinta tama la kata Bissau. This attack came. Umbo inkandiro kita. So it was a concern to the juntas. Kita sujar nyatun kuli dilumbati. But because of the 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 plan kudeta, atu kudeta fere city ringoni was prepared in Senegal. Ya parindi ni Senegal. All the way from Tamba, bo Tamba, Tamba to Soko, Tamba kana Soko, and that's where they entered from Kerai. Ndani njela la kana ni kile aibu maafanga. So it was a concern to the president. Ndio anataka president wa idhuru kubati. So he said, who is going to Dakar from the NIA? Abu NIA la karola juma la bitha Dakar. They told him Aliu Singate is going. Ika Aliu Singate ni nyanda tala. One of the directors. Me alamu kwa director le kono. He himself atefano said no. Kuhani take Salmina to Dakar. Kwa ali salimu na samba Dakar. That's what he told my authorities. Awe la fonte la nyato nkuli. So that's why they changed my 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 postings from Bissau to Dakar. Kula na iye natala dinkira ni Saundi. Wairi nyanta talamu Bissau le yobai sa iye samba Dakar. How soon after 
the attack did you deploy to Dakar? I what general Satari are in Kijani Ibida Doko Dabutala Dakar? Well, when this attack came, I don't think I spent much time again in the Gambia. Bring in Bank and Yoka, the Mamira Nawati Janka Gambia Jankota. No, no. One week? No Kunkilim? Maybe. As a care. Two weeks? No Kunfula? Maybe one week or so. Mamira Lukum Kilindal, I'm not sure of the ten period, days. Ilitang? Ten days? Ilitang? I could fast it till Tamasile. You much time anyway. You deployed on 1st of October. It had October carotili follow. Isn't it? Well, the letter. letter. Letter on the eight and the nine. I received the letter on the tenth. I have a letter also to carotil tamale. Of October. October. Hmm? Yeah, October I believe. Ah, uh, not a lot of October. Mr. Chair, perhaps you should take a coffee break and. Uh, we return by which time you would have certified the date of departure. Yeah, we'll take a 30 minute mark of your break. But before doing that, Mr. Drame, yes, just sir. one point if you can clear that um, for me, you said you spent um, uh, 13 years in the airport um, control tower. The background that you had, what exactly were you doing in the airport control tower? I was in the airport control tower. I was in the airport control tower. I was in the airport control tower. Given your background, I was in the airport control tower. I was in the airport control tower. I did my practicals at Muritala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. I, I did I did uh, aerodrome control. aerodrome control We don't have those facilities at our airport here. Basically what we do as meteorologists, we have a piece of information called a QAM. 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 That piece of information, there are elements that aircrafts need to land. Which is very important. Because the, Q, the QNH, that, QNH that, that is the figure you give to the pilot, will set it into the plane. There is an altimeter, they call it. Fendo kulunchila kuno sumandiri la wole mufa ufasa altimeter. Ika fai altimeter. The altimeter will indicate. Altimeter ni abaita ndila the flight. Kulunchila ni above the runway. Abe abe yiriko men to salto aning kulunchila jirula tema bankoto for easy landing. Puro asiji kuke kalo kuke. There is an element also. When you are on the approach to Yundim International Airport, that will give you the bearing of the runway. So you cannot miss the runway. That's fine. Thank you. So you did have a technical background in... Uh, uh, aviation thing to be able to do that. I thought um, uh, you probably came from Crab Island and then straight into no, the no. control tower. I was even a co-pilot. <laughs> I was even a co-pilot when I was flying from Dakar with my French counterpart. We hired a flight. I was a co-pilot when we were coming to Banjul for a meeting. Uh, Utumumbe bokana mdakar kana banjul kana bewola jang. Nenka funyo nga kuluntila luas. Puruka ulindi na njie kana banjul wa ulu. Kuluntila sambala lola mkoti. 
very versatile background. We'll take a, a 30 minute break and come back at 12 noon. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.